What's up Clashers? Today I got really bored of waiting for my Night Witches to reach maximum level, so I actually bought the last level and I don't regret it one bit. I've been attacking like crazy and I've actually found a fantastic 3 star strategy that I want to share with you in this video, using the Night Witches and Boxer Giants. Now you might be asking why not mass witches and the answer is simple, mass witch attacks are just not reliable. Sometimes they will completely wreck a base and sometimes they will die before even getting that first star. This strategy however is designed to minimize the risk of total catastrophe and greatly improving the chance of getting at least a 2 star, making the attacks more reliable. But these are all just words, let me explain how I did that by studying all the hazards. Other than all the ground targeting defense buildings, the Night Witch's main enemies are unexpected megamines, the multi-mortar, the roaster, and tricky wall formations. And I came to realize that swapping one camp for giants was the perfect solution, because what we need is a distraction, slightly more than what the battle machine alone can provide. So what about the tricky wall formations? How do we prevent the night witches from walking around a wall only to get killed by traps or other defenses? I don't want to sacrifice a second camp only to bring bombers. Well here's the beauty of the giant my friends, he is a boxer. And one camp of giants is enough to work as a wall breaker on the outer layer wall. That was my brief introduction to this strategy, now let's have a quick look in my battle log and then jump right into the attack replays. So we have 86% uh, 2 star, 53% uh, 2 star, a 3 star, uh, this guy that attacked my base, he really hurt my feelings, that wasn't fun to watch. Another 3 star, 83% 2 star, 62% uh, 2 star, here I tried something uh, that wasn't very smart so I only got the builder hall. Another 3 star, a 3 star, and a 3 star. So let's have a look at some of these replays, we'll start with this one. Um, the first thing that you want to do when you find a base is locate the multi-mortar and the roaster. And make sure that uh, they are both distracted by either your giant or your battle machine. And then when uh, you deploy your night witches you want to deploy them as far away from the base as possible but not in the very corners. This was actually a bit close, I should have deployed them probably here. Uh, and you can deploy them anywhere here uh, along the side, but not exactly in the corners. Why? Because they might have mega mines waiting for you here in the corners. Uh, so I begin by deploying the Night Witches far away, and then I make sure that I deploy my uh, battle machine and the giants so that they um, distract the roaster and the multi mortar, and so that the giants also help. Uh, breaking the wall for the Night Witches. So watch here, the Giants are clearing even a Mega Mine here. And then once that uh, Tesla that popped up outside uh, is destroyed, they will start breaking the wall and provide a little bit of distraction, which is all uh, th what the Night Witches need for um, for this attack. And notice how the, the Multi Mortar is now locked on the Battle Machine. And you know, the Giants will eventually die, and they might die uh, fairly quickly as well, but that doesn't matter because the Night Witches only need, you know, just a few seconds of uh, uh, distraction to then overwhelm the base. Because once the, you know, once the Giants die, then the base will be so hurt that it won't be able to defend against the Night Witches anyway. Look at how many... Uh, bats we've got here. They're just wrecking everything. So yeah, that's what it looks like. Alright, next up we have this base right here. Um, here I actually decided to attack from this side uh, so that the roaster is on the opposite side. And you can do that uh, as well because uh, once your army reaches uh, the other side then uh, the base will be uh, uh, you know, almost uh, entirely destroyed and there are not many defenses left, so the Night Witches will be able to overwhelm even the roaster. 
Uh, and one more thing that you can do if you're afraid that there might be a mega mine somewhere where you want to deploy. Now, this is not a place where they usually place a mega mine. That would be a waste. But you can deploy one giant ahead of the night witches if you want. Uh, you can actually do that if you if you really want to deploy from a corner, then you can deploy a giant ahead of the night witches just to check for traps. Another good thing with the with the giants. Uh, so. I deploy a giant and then the night which is right behind and then the battle machine which is a little bit faster than the giants and it will be the one tanking the the multi-mortar and here the multi-mortar actually got really close to the uh, night witches but not uh, only two shots here's the fun thing or really good thing about uh, boxer giants notice how they breached that wall and it will drag the battle machine towards the the defending ground troops and inside the base. Um, so yeah, that's one more good thing about the the giants. Now notice how fast the the base is getting destroyed just because the night witches have that little bit of uh, tanking by by the giants and and the the battle machine. Now the roaster will of course uh, be a little bit problematic because it, it really melts the bats away fast but since I have so many night witches left this will not be an issue there you go the third attack we're gonna have a look at is against this base and the reason I want to show you this attack is because uh, it didn't really go as planned. There were a few things here that happened. Uh, th my giants didn't go where I wanted them to. Uh, well, they, they actually did, but they didn't destroy the defenses fast enough and they didn't breach the wall for the, for the Night Witches. Um, but it turned out very successful anyway, and I'll show you why. So here I decided to deploy from the corner, and that means I have to deploy a giant ahead of the Night Witches in case there is a uh, Mega Mine... Um, hidden there so again we locate the multi-mortar and the roaster and make sure our giants or uh, the battle machine uh, distracts them and if that is done correctly then it doesn't really matter if the giants don't breach the wall or if other things go wrong because those are the main hazards and if we do this then the night witches will be able to overwhelm the base on their own um, and because you know they can work uh, freely and they can uh, destroy the base of course there are a few ground defenses here that will target the night witches uh, and some of them will die but it doesn't matter because you know if, if the if the two main hazards or three main hazards here are uh, are taken care of then uh, attacking will be very easy so out of the four main hazards the fourth being the wall formation I didn't breach the wall but the removing uh, of the potential uh, mega mine and distracting the multi mortar and distracting the roaster, um, we did that, and so this uh, attack was very successful. The battle machine is still alive, and I think I have four night witches left. So let's have a look at how we can attack a diamond base. This guy has placed his base uh, very far south on the map. So why not use this entire distance here and uh, deploy our witches at the very top and giving them a lot of time to uh, start clearing the, the north side of the base and the mortar and the roaster. Uh, but again, giant comes first because if this was me building this base, I would definitely have placed a mega mine at the very top here, but he didn't. Also, now I want to breach this wall. So I placed my uh, battle machine here uh, on this side. And with the help of the giants, he will breach this outer layer wall and eventually he will get the attention of the roaster. And once that happens, watch all these bats. They will now freely destroy the mortar and the roaster because the roaster is distracted, right? And yeah, so uh, from now on, all the giants are gone, by the way. But now we have a battle machine tanking and the night witch is behind it very well protected and things are just going really really smooth right now 
Uh, at one point, the battle machine uh, will start walking outside this wall here to get the mine and, and the lab, which was a little bit uh, dangerous for the witches, but there are so many left, and the battle machine is going to enter the base again and start tanking for the night witches. And, you know, they form such a perfect combo here because uh, the, the Crusher is a threat to the battle machine, right? But the, the night witches will take care of it because it can't hurt them. And then the archer tower and the cannon uh, are distracted by the battle machine, so they cannot hurt the night witches. A very effective team indeed. The last attack we're going to have a look at here is also a diamond base and we are going to use the same strategy here. We are going to attack from this corner here uh, because the mortar and the roaster are here. Uh, this guy has his walls a little bit more upgraded but the, the same idea here we are going to use the giants and the battle machine to breach the wall in the corner here and start distracting the mortar and the roaster. Now um, it's going to take a little bit more time here to breach the wall and if you think that's going to happen then make sure your giants are well ahead of your uh, night witches and the better machine as well so that they don't come too close to the mortar shells uh, but notice now how this giant once he starts distracting this roaster here things are going to go really fast again uh, now the night witches and the bats are free to destroy the roaster and the mortar and from there um, You know now there's nothing targeting the the night witches and uh, Their bats or not that much and the battle machine is regaining his health and Still tanking all the giants are now dead, but still we have five night witches left and the battle machine, uh, which is not going to die, so basically this base was overwhelmed. So other than watching this tutorial, the one thing you might need to practice a little is knowing how to path your battle machine and your giants in order to provide distraction for the night witches. You know, placing them in certain spots if you want them to breach a wall instead of going around it and things like that. Uh, also, always remember the four main hazards check for traps, distract the mortar, distract the roaster, and beware of tricky wall formations that might lead your battle machine and your giants to the wrong place. All right, that was it for this three-star strategy video. I really hope you found it interesting and informative. And remember, if you have any questions, you are always welcome to ask them in the comment section, and I'll do my best to help you out. Also, if you have specific requests for strategies or army compositions you want me to investigate, be sure to let me know and I'll try my best to provide videos of the things you want to see. So until next time, I really hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.